autocross. Right now, it's uh, it's 6:30 in the morning. It's Saturday morning. Um, hopefully, you guys can see me. I didn't really, I didn't really position this camera correctly, like with the backpack or anything. So I'm hoping it's not too dark, or you can at least see where the heck I'm going. But I'm getting onto the freeway right now. So this is the Matherfield Autocross. This is the uh, Shriners event. It's like a charity event, I think, uh, for the Shri Shriners uh, Children Hospital. So that's pretty cool. A lot of the uh, donation. Well, I think all the donation or the all of our money basically gets donated to the Shriners Hospital, as far as I know. So that's that's a pretty cool situation going on there. But so they have two of these. Um, they have two of these autocrosses at Mather Field this year. Um, this is going to be the, well they have, actually sorry, they have two events. So it's going to be Saturday and Sunday, so there's two days there, which I would just call one weekend basically. And then later on in August, um, they're having another one. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm probably going to go to, like I said before in my last video, to the, uh, to the Stanislaus uh, Fairgrounds and go to the autocross there. Um, also to Crow's Landing, I want to go there and I'm not sure if they, I'm not sure if it's Porsche Club only, but I'd really like to go to the Oakland Coliseum and go do that one. But I've, just because I've heard like the pavement is really slick, like it's kind of like that nice like slick um, blacktop stuff. So, I mean, you would kind of just slide around a little more. So I feel like that would kind of be fun just because, um, you know, the different surfaces and whatnot. This place is pretty, it has a lot of different tarmac surfaces. I mean, it has concrete. It has that real thick, chunky blacktop. It's it's kind of it's kind of all over the place, and I mean, it's not a very even even track either. I mean, not to say that it's a track. It's basically a giant open parking lot, but it's not it's not super even. So it's not very good on your tires. Not that autocrossing in general is good on your tires. It's fun for your tires. It's good for your it's good for your smiles and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so overall, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome, guys. So. Gonna take me about 15 minutes to get there. Then I will do a track walk. So I'm probably gonna record the track walk if I can, um, and maybe I can just go through that and like just kind of do it up in like a sped up motion because it takes you quite some time to actually to actually walk the whole track because um, like on a normal run, uh, if I'm remembering last time, I think it was like around 60. 67 seconds something like that so I mean it can be over a minute that you're out there and it, it kind of always feels like whoa like you get to a certain part of the track and you think it's over and you're like wait there's still that other part of the track and you're actually out there for quite some time so it's pretty cool they run um, in staggered time so usually they'll go one car and then then it will be um, you'll have like a 15 or 20 second gap depending on basically like how much time um, you know where it is safe for the next car to come out on for how much time that car is in the one uh, specific part of the track so yeah so they have it kind of set up like that and this is what they call a solo two event so you can actually have a passenger in the car if you want but you're just basically racing against the clock um, and it's really fun so if you hit a it's cones in a parking lot you guys will see if you don't know what it is um, Basically, if you hit a cone, you get uh, seconds deducted. If you hit a cone and don't like get back onto the course, you can get a, a DNF. Or you know, if you spin out or something like that, as long as you re-enter and go around the cone that you that you spun out around, um, you won't get a DNF. But obviously, your time will suffer. So a lot of the time, if they uh, if someone actually if someone spins out in front of you when you're on the track and they have to yellow flag you, you do get to rerun your lap. So, in the years past, I think I got about, um, I think it was three runs in, maybe four in a day, which doesn't seem like a lot because it's kind of not a lot, but this is usually just a really, really busy event just because all the people from the Sacramento area come out here and uh, love to do this autocross event. So, alright guys, so I'm almost, uh, you know, I'm almost there and I'll give you some more footage when we run. Okay, so I am pretty much the first one out here, besides the officials right now. So that is the 
track out there. Alright guys, so got the car all stickered up. Got my number on there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and inflate the tires, over inflate the tires and check all the PSIs on, on these. Get this thing ready to rock. A couple more guys have shown up. Not too many people yet. We'll uh, get a lot more. All right, so we're getting a good lineup of uh, World Rally Blue cars right now. Yeah, three generations. We got the RS SCI, RSCI, the WRX Hatch. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna go get signed up and go get on the grid soon.
Louis Super comes in with a 63, 387, 63, 387. Tenyo just took off in the yellow BSP Corvette. Thank you. And, oh, here comes car number 25. Shiny red Miata. That was way better. 67, 38, or sorry, 63.387. So that's what I got this time. So that was much better time. Uh, went a lot smoother. That was my first run, so I shaved off you know, over two seconds, just driving slower, less like a maniac. So anyways, see what we can do next time. Subi right behind him. Another Subi out of course and a Subi taking off. So this is the last run. Uh, last time I ran like a 62, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to drive a little better, obviously. But I can always say that, right? Cool. That's not too bad, man. So we'll see how it goes. Get into the car. And then
right, so we're leaving the autocross. It's 2 p.m. right now, so we're gonna flip around real quick. It's not really road. And about, I kind of knew a couple of the people that were out here, um, like four or five people, so I met a couple new people too. That was really cool. Um, some of the iClub guys. So, that's pretty sweet for the Sacramento area. Um, Corey's the guy with the uh, red SDI. That thing was freaking smoking. That thing was sick. Good driver in a fast car, but anyways. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I'm gonna come out tomorrow also. And let them rip around a little bit more. left in these tires kind of play around with that but man that, overall that was just an awesome track day a lot of really quick cars out there um a lot of subie guys today so that was really cool um see a bunch of the subaru guys out here it's all, it always makes it fun you know when you just meet a lot of uh, meet a lot of new people and whatnot sick gt3 right here 996 you guys mind see it right here
62s or something before that, but I know. What can you do? That's what that's what happens. That's what autocross is all about. I actually didn't look at the front of my car, which is probably kind of weird, but I haven't looked to see if I have any cone damage. I pretty much hit it with the middle. I think I hit it with like the middle of the car, so kind of just ran them over. So we'll see how that looks. Um, maybe I'll get some uh, some footage of that the aftermath of autocross, but. Anyways, yeah, just freaking autocross is awesome, guys. So if you have one near you or, you know, you can look it up on the SCCA website. Um, they're pretty much all across the country. Um, and, you know, it's just a great spot just to go out and just improve the limits of your car. I mean, you can go out in any type of car. You don't have to have a fast car. You can go out in your, you know, whatever, your Camry if you want to. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be tuned or anything like that. You can just take a stock car out and just go out and have fun. And overall, it's it's really actually a good experience because you learn your car's dynamics and control and handling of your vehicle that you wouldn't normally do on regular roads. So overall, it's going to make you just a better driver in general. So I would really recommend it just to anyone. If someone, you know, it's kind of intimidating when you first come out because you don't know what it's all about. But once you get out there, if you're a new driver, you know, they'll, they'll hook you up. You'll meet someone out there and they'll help you out. And by the time the day's over, you're like, man, why was I intimidated? I mean, that was, that was so much fun. I had such a good time. I'm coming back, you know, I'm coming back tomorrow. It's that type of thing. So anyways, um, go home, eat some food because I'm freaking hungry. I only really had some muffins today and that sort of thing. So yeah guys, I'll uh, I guess I'll probably just do like a two-part video like I mean just autocross weekend or something like that. We'll call this a vlog, vlog number, I don't know, vlog number five or something. Um, vlog with a with a road trip I guess like I said last time. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that and then probably tomorrow I'll kind of just kind of just do the same thing and uh, Have some footage with that. So all right. Thanks guys. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching I Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys subscribing and commenting on my videos and we will talk to you soon later